today it's all about cheesy and creamy grits or actually polenta. So stick around on this episode of Cook This. I'm making shrimp and grits Italian style. Hey guys, I'm Shireen. Today I'm making Italian style shrimp and grits. So shrimp and grits are a classic southern dish. It is hearty, it's amazing, it's so delicious, ultimate comfort food. But what makes mine Italian is I'm actually going to use polenta. What makes polenta and grits different? Well, actually they are the same thing. They're cornmeal, stone ground cornmeal. Typically grits are white, commonly polenta is yellow, grits are eaten for breakfast, polenta is served savory all day long. Well, what makes mine Italian style is I'm using yellow cornmeal and pancetta. So first thing I'm gonna do is just saute some pancetta. I'm gonna get my water boiling to, to cook my polenta, which takes about 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and tender. Water came to a boil, I'm just gonna season it with salt vigorously. And I want to reduce it to a simmer before I add the cornmeal. That way it doesn't boil over. And while we're adding it, you want to whisk. That way it doesn't get lumpy. I'm going to reduce it to a simmer and let it cook until the cornmeal is tender, about 15 to 20 minutes. And then prep my garlic and red peppers while the pancetta is cooking. I'm just going to prep my shrimp. So you just want to devein and remove the shells and the tails. My husband, Andreas, does not like when I leave the tails on. Although it gives great flavor when you're cooking, I guess he just doesn't want to stop <laughs> to take off the tail. So I'm just gonna remove all the tails, season it with salt and pepper, pull out my pancetta, which is almost nice and brown, and then add the shrimp and saute the shrimp. So I'm just gonna remove it to a bowl. So just use a slotted spoon. Doesn't need to go to a paper towel. I'm gonna get every little bit, because I don't want it to burn. All right, now, what's in the bottom of this cast iron skillet is good stuff. That's bacon fat. So we're gonna saute the shrimp in that. First, you just wanna season it lightly, lightly with salt and pepper. Lightly with salt because, you know, shrimp comes from the sea, so it naturally has a salt flavor. And then we'll put this in the pan. So this is really quick, about two minutes, and then I'm gonna add my red peppers and my garlic. Another two minutes, and then it's done. Our polenta should be done by that time. I'm just gonna season the red peppers. smells so good, it smells sweet. So when you're buying shrimp at the grocery store, it's okay to ask to smell the shrimp before you leave the store. You want it to smell like the sea, almost sweet also. I know that's an odd aroma to describe, but you'll know it when you smell it. That way, you make sure you have good, delicious shrimp. It makes a difference in this dish. Time to time, as the polenta's cooking, you just wanna start with a wooden spoon. So here's where all the delicious flavor comes from. Butter and lots of cheese. So I have some cheddar cheese, some Swiss cheese, and then I'm just gonna stir this until it's melted, and then we're ready to eat. All right, so a little taste. So this is how you wanna serve it. So add the polenta to the bottom of your bowl, top it with the shrimp, red peppers, and the pancetta. And then I like to add dill. I love dill, it's so fresh, it's really pretty. Let's taste it. Try not to do a man size bite. <laughs> mm. Sweet shrimp, cheesy polenta. I love that pinchetta in there, mm, so good. Whether you eat grits or polenta, eat them for breakfast or dinner, I hope you'll try my Italian version to this southern favorite. For the recipe, go to the newspaper's website, or for more of my fresh and easy recipes, check out tweetneats.com. Enjoy.